Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about iodine and the relationship to your IQ, okay? So iodine deficiencies are really a big problem on this planet right now. I want to read something to you. Iodine deficiencies affect approximately 2 billion people worldwide. Now that's a lot of people. What is there, 7 billion people on the planet and this is like 2 billion? So a large percent of us are deficient in iodine. Iodine is very important in supporting the brain function, okay? Growth of a child, regulating estrogen, supporting the thyroid function. And if you're deficient, you can become, have a goiter where you have this uh, bulge in your neck, this swollen thyroid gland. So there is a condition called intellectual disability, which is mental retardation, where the IQ is less than 70. And the person has lower motor skills, slow learning, a decrease in solving problems, difficulty adapting to a new situation. 50% of the time, this condition is idiopathic. Sounds pretty scientific, doesn't it? I mean, if I say you have an idiopathic condition, well, this means unknown cause. They don't know what causes it. It's an iodine deficiency, okay? If you are pregnant, consume seek help, okay? I highly recommend it. The last thing you want to do is become def iodine deficient when you're carrying a baby, okay? If you know people that are actually going to have a child, tell them about this information. Make sure they get on a good trace mineral. Make sure the iodine is from a food-based sea kelp and make sure it's a quality sea kelp because a lot of times the oceans are polluted and uh, you don't want to pull those toxins in. But iodine is also good for regulating estrogen, fibrocystic breast, uh, cyst in the ovaries. It's good to support a low thyroid and also a goiter. In summary, I hope now you see the importance of the trace mineral iodine. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. 
That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.